Shut up and take my money. Welcome to the inaugural video of this channel. As you can tell by the title, we're gonna start off with a consumerist bang and do a Shein haul. So I'm not gonna bore you with a long drawn out intro, but just a little bit about me. My name is Nicole, I'm a nail enthusiast. I've started maybe about a year ago, started getting into nails. Was never big into nails growing up. You know, I had polishes and all that fun stuff. I dabbled in gel polishes a few years ago, couldn't get it to work, so gave up. And then I restarted about a year ago, uh, got really into it, and now I have a huge collection. I'm not a nail tech, I'm not certified, I'm not licensed, I'm not anything. I'm not doing other people's nails. I, I am doing press-ons for other people, but I don't think you need a license for that. Don't quote me, I'm in Canada, so pretty sure you don't need a license for that. So this channel is gonna be mostly me kind of figuring things out. I'm still very much a beginner. So I'm gonna go through how-tos, gonna do some designs, have a lot of fails in there, hopefully get a lot of good advice from all of you kind of seasoned viewers out there. Or if you're a nail tech or you're certified and you or you've just been doing it for a lot of years, feel free to drop any of your comments down below. Uh, tips are welcome. Constructive criticism is welcome. All right, so we're gonna start off with the charms that I got. Um, just a quick disclaimer, this box is from Dollarama and some of these charms aren't actually from Shein, I don't think. Uh, I'll just go over the ones that I did get. So it comes with these bust, I guess you call them, kind of portrait looking things. And I am very much struggling here. Uh, so this is kind of what they look like. I definitely want to make a vintage set out of them. One of these had fallen apart and I actually had to glue the black onto the silver base. So just a heads up on that. We got a yellow version and then we got a couple of cool hearts. So these are cool. This will be a nice uh, kind of black and gold Valentine set I'm hoping for. And then we also got that in silver. Oops, I'll fix that after. And then... We got some hearts with bows. So we got a black set and we got a white set. And then lastly, there were, this wasn't part of the set, but I got these separately. These little star kind of has a fake chain in there. It looks pretty cool. Thought this would be nice in a set. So one of the items I actually got were these wax pencils. They came in a set of five. So this works great for picking, well, sort of great for picking up these charms and for rhinestones. Um, I actually got a fancier pencil. I'll show you here. So I got one of these. Uh, they have some, I don't know what you call these little fake diamonds in there. And this is the wax end. And then you've got the end for kind of poking the crystal into place. I actually find that these cheapy pencils pick it up better than these ones. So it's actually pretty good. Next to go with the pencil, I got a sharpener. Uh, as you can see, I've already cracked it. <laughs> um, I've had this for two days and uh, I got this because I always seem to be losing my sharpener. So got another one just to go with those pencils. Okay, and then kind of with the charms, I got this, I guess they called it like a Sailor Moon set. So it comes with like the crests, so I think there's a wand in there, moon, stars, all that fun stuff. As you can probably tell from my other charms that I have in here, I definitely want to be doing a Sailor Moon set. So I'll be doing that coming up soon. Also, this video is not going to be in any particular order. Um, so the next items I got were two bottles of this clear builder gel. Just needed some. I want to do some glitter encapsulation and some sequins. So needed some more of the builder gel. It seems like it's good. I haven't actually used it yet. It is pretty thick and viscous, as you can see. Definitely needed another bottle of this. So I also got some clear acrylic powder. Definitely want to start in on these sweater nails soon. So this is the Lavender Violets Professional Nail System. It's just in the color clear. And it's, uh, well, I've never actually used acrylic before, so I assume it's good. We'll find out. I also got some iridescent sequins. These are more what I was going for. I saw, I think on the Beauty Vault, she did a white kind of milky set with some iridescent sequins. I really like that. Definitely want to try that out. I bought this set hoping it was uh, kind of similar, but it's more pink, which is fine. Uh, I ended up buying two of those 
and uh, we'll make use of them. Of course, Chrome I got. Um, really loving Chrome. The set was, I think, about 10 bucks Canadian, which was a lot cheaper than the Savalan set that I got from Amazon. But to be fair, this one has very little in it. In each like jar, they're very small amounts. I did use the burnt orange one. It turned out really nice. Um, as you can see, I've kind of dug into it already. But yeah, there's some nice colors. I also got this huge sequin set. I don't know, they're like the metallic-y sequins that you can actually bend really easily. Uh, I'm honestly afraid to take it out of here because it's all in one piece. So I'm afraid of opening it and them all falling out. So we'll just leave them in there for now, but I kind of will show you a close up of what's in there. Sorry, the light's like really reflecting in here. So we even got some pineapples, moon, stars. That's the main reason I got it. It's even got some chains in here, which is kind of cool. And then along these lines, I got a couple jars of this. So these are kind of the same thing, just moons and stars, and little line pieces. Definitely want to make a Wiccan kind of witchy black set with these gold accents in it. Also, again, Salem Moon themed. Rhinestone. So we got a, a little bit of rhinestones here. Uh, let's start off with these heart ones. Sorry, this background is not great. Um, but they're all multicolored. I think these are about, I want to say, four millimeters. But don't quote me on that. They're pretty cute. And then next I did get these oil slick looking ones. So it's just a uh, set all the way from the smallest to the biggest. And I got a couple boxes here of the two sizes, and then it has one size here, and then some pastel looking ones. So, make sure I'm opening this the right way. Um, ooh, scary. So we've got the really small ones, and then, I don't know if these are considered SS3. Again, new to all this stuff, so I'm not sure of the sizes. Um, and then they got the corresponding slightly bigger one. I think this might be the SS6, but again, I don't know. Some nice colors there. Kind of one for every season if you need it. And then this box here. And then this box here is just more of the small ones. And then some bigger kind of, I don't know, neon pastel colors, which will be cool for a summer set. Now we have our special guest, Apri Tips. So I ended up buying four boxes of tips. I am from Canada, so getting these and getting them here are pretty expensive. My eyes watered a little bit when I placed this order. Uh, if I was gonna do it through the Appraise American site, it would have cost me about 250 Canadian to get this all here from the American Appraise website. That would have included duties, that would have included taxes and also the shipping and the conversion rate. So it may only be $29.99 USD for you lucky US people, but in Canadian, that's quite a bit of money. So I ended up ordering this from a distributor here in Calgary, Alberta. It's called DK Beauty. If you're Canadian and you're wondering where I got these from, the boxes were about $50 Canadian a box. So it was $200. I got free shipping, all that stuff. Didn't have to pay any duties. I'm sure that was lumped into the price though but uh, $200, so my eyes still watered when I placed this order, thinking that I only got four boxes, 200 bucks. That seems like a lot. Um, I'm used to buying the cheaper tips, but of course you get what you paid for. Um, insert a picture here of my thumb. I ended up using the Nail Pop brand from AliExpress, and yeah, it did not survive. It looked very sad. But yeah, let's go ahead and take a peek at these. So don't mind this fancy background with some paper towel. It is the brand name, so I splurged a little. But anyways, we're gonna start with the coffin tips. And when they say short, they really do mean short. I know that's in the name, but it's a lot shorter than all the other tips I have. I'm comparing this to a coffin set I have from iGel Beauty, and they are much shorter. 
So also, a side note, um, I find the Apray tips run small, if that's the right descriptor. Um, I'm usually about a one or a two or sometimes a two and a three for my thumbs. And here I'm a zero, which is crazy. And for these fingers, I'm usually about a five and a six. And I guess I'm about a three and a four. Again, this is not scientific. I've got tips on right now, so hard to tell. But we're going to just do a little bit of a length test. So these are the zero ones. As you can see, they are pretty short. I'll just compare them to the short almonds that I'm wearing here. So yeah, as you can see, you can probably see the tip underneath. But yeah, these are pretty short. The medium ones are definitely more up my alley. I'm slowly venturing out to longer and longer nails. I'm starting to perfect the stiff hand type right now so I find if I go a little bit longer it's even harder so I need to work on my typing for work before I can venture out to even longer ones but these medium ones are a nice length I might have to work my way up like I said and cut them down and then work my way up so this is the zero so as you can see it's longer for sure than this set that I'm wearing I did find that these have a little bit more of a c-curve than i was expecting i didn't get sculpted i did get the natural but i don't know why they seem so round i do have a mix of flat and round so hopefully they work we'll find out so now we'll move on to the short almond and the medium almond you're probably wondering why the paint post-it notes here uh, i just realized in that last clip you could totally see up my nose in the reflection so i put this here so i don't force you guys to look at that uh, so we're going to start with the short almond same issue as or not issue the same case as the coffin ones they are very short um i know i'm a short nail girly but oof, very short so yeah let's go ahead and compare so you can definitely see my nail sticking out underneath it and i kind of estimate the same i'm going to be a zero probably around a three and a four for the middle fingers and then somewhere around here for the pinky tips but one thing i really like about a prey is you can buy the refill one so you don't have to buy the whole set again um, i did find a distributor in canada it's a different one i forget the name but they sell the 50 pack of each individual size so you can just order it and then you don't have to worry about doing the whole box again so it's very economical because i think they're about six dollars canadian a bag which is fair if you're just using you know the same one two three four sizes that's what 20 bucks and you've got a refill so pretty sweet next we're going to move on to the medium almonds i really like these ones i actually had someone tell me that almond nails are old lady nails uh i don't agree with that but i am 70 on the inside so works out for me so yeah let's take a look at the length for these ones they're very hard to get apart okay so for length this is what we're looking at so they are quite a bit longer there's a big difference between their short and their medium for sure uh, I definitely like the length of these. I think my next set might be these ones. We'll find out. Alrighty, so that's all I've got for you today. Apparently I'm a magician, but hopefully you enjoyed it. I do have some more Shein hauls. I went a little nuts and ordered, I think about three more lots of stuff. I've also got a Timu order coming. Something's going on with Timu, they removed in Canada at least, all of the nail stuff. You can't get anything nail related. I think there's something to do with the border because my package has been held up at the border for inspection for a long time. So if you're in Canada, uh, Timu, don't know what's going on. But in the States, it might be different, I don't know. But I've also got some Amazon stuff coming and I've also bought some stuff in and around. As you can tell, I've kind of been on a shopping spree. I bought some stuff in and around at like Michael's, at Sally's, at Shoppers, which is like a drug mart kind of store in Canada. So I can definitely go over those purchases as well. I'm hoping to follow the cadence of about one video a week. If you guys want to see more and keep up to date, do feel free to subscribe down below and put, turn on your notifications. That'll let you know when I posted can't promise anything uh as of right now sorry if you want to come along on the journey with me watch me improve get my skills up to par try out a bunch of fun stuff then stay tuned see you guys i hope you have a great rest of your day bye